Hey guys, Nature from Protoculture and Shadow Chronicles. This uh, video we're going to be taking a look at setting up controllers in Cubase. Um, there's a lot of hardware that has uh, software additions that make the, the process of setting up your controllers pretty easy, like um, Innovation Auto Map or Complete Control like I have. But there's times where you don't want to use Complete Control. Um, so Cubase has got a really handy feature called Quick Controls. So we're going to take a look at how we set that up and how it works with your plugins in Cubase. Let's check this out. Right, so first things first, I want to just uh, take a look at how we set up quick controls in Cubase. And uh, they're a really great alternative to uh, mapping um, controls from your MIDI controller to any um, target that you want to be able to control manually. Um, so in your studio setup, um, we're going to go to studio setup here. You have uh, track quick controls and VST quick controls. VST quick controls, these are for these specifically for instruments um, and they do require uh, VST3 instruments. The track control, uh, track quick controls you can pretty much assign anything to. Um, again, they're easier when they are VST3 plugins, um, but you can do VST2 plugins as well, it just takes a little bit more time. Um, I like to have pickup mode enabled. Basically that won't change any controls until I, my dial moves over the point where it's currently set and then it'll pick up the control from there and move it. Um, to set this up, you just want to select your MIDI inputs. Uh, on my controller, it's generally mapped to complete control. I have a complete control keyboard. Um, I You would need to put that into MIDI mode by hitting shift plugin to switch it to MIDI mode. And then you have four banks of, of eight controllers. Uh, I have this set to page one, which is the first eight controllers on the keyboard. You just have to hit learn and then move whatever control you want. You can see that it's changing to different controllers. On your keyboard, you would just need to know what the CC is for the control that you are trying to map. Uh, and or just hit learn and it'll automatically pick that up. So just turn the learn off now, we can apply that setting, hit OK. And I want to take a look at two examples now. I've got a copy of Anna and a copy of Retrolog that we're going to map. Um, let's actually just uh, delete this one, just insert a new version of Anna there so that it's a fresh control map. Uh, so we'll look at Retrolog first. Um, so Retrolog actually utilizes the VST quick controls. So any control on here, you can just click and add to slot one to eight. It's as simple as that. You right click, it adds it to a slot and your uh, quick controls will now pick that up. And I'm moving it on the keyboard now. Um, you can also often, if there's nothing set up here, you can just get, get the default QCs from plugin. Um, most of the Steinberg stuff is really nicely mapped out for us. And um, you can change the instrument ones here. Um, let's say oscillated volume. And if we map that to slot one, you'll see it doesn't come up there because it's the VST instrument controls. But if we then hit that, get from instrument, it'll map oscillator one volume to our track quick controls on the side here. And these are handy as well because you can actually change parameters on the plugin now without actually even needing, needing to open up the interface at all. So yeah, uh, let's see here we have, which is quite nice to have. Now let's quickly take a look at a VST uh, plugin instead. Um, Let's uh, just get a patch going, just turn off the chords for this one. Okay, um, so you can see our default QCs, we can get the, uh, yeah, are not particularly useful. Um, they're not the ones that I would want to have set up here. So, you see when you right click control here, you end up with Anna's default uh, menu, pop-up menu that comes up. And uh, now you can um, map via the set mini learn thing and this is plugin specific um, so you can hit set mini learn and uh, dial in a mini uh, control for that um, the cutoff control but uh, the problem with this now is if you reload Anna it will not remember your mapping for the plugin 
Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to manually just add these controls into our quick control slots here. I'm going to click on these and you'll see Anna pop up here and all the controls available to you will come up in this section here. So we know we're looking for a filter control so we can just type in filter and we're looking for filter master frequency. Let's do the filter master resonance and you'll see now our pickup we need to dial all the way back and there our controllers are mapped to Anna's filter. Now if we want to save this configuration you can just save a uh, and we'll, I've saved one here already but we'll just save preset and a default I'll just overwrite that one and now every time you open up Anna you can just quickly grab the default settings for it from here and there's one other benefit to using quick controls and that's um, these track quick controls apply to, to the entire track so the beauty of this is you can go and insert a plugin. Let's take a filter like Clean Sweep Pro. And this is a VST3 uh, plugin, so it makes life very, very easy for us. We don't have to manually do it. Um, we can go and dial in, let's say, a resonant filter. And say we want to control the cutoff on the filter, we just right click, add this to Quick Control Slot 3. And we can do the resonance as well. We'll add that one to four. So now in the same bank of quick control slots that we have here, we can control, let me just move this one over slightly. We can control Anna's filter, Anna's resonance. And then from the same controls, we then have controls for the cutoff on the actual filter that we have on the inserts as well as the resonance there. So you can pretty much map anything pretty easily, anything that's inserted on this channel, everything from volume to controls on inserts to controls for your synths, uh, you can build a bank of custom controls here that's easily controllable from the left hand side here or via your MIDI controller. So that's quick controls for you, great little way to um, streamline the um, process of setting up controls. And also if you want to get away from uh, software like Native Instruments, um, Complete Control or Novation's uh, Auto Map, you don't necessarily have to use those, you can rather use the quick controls and it's a super easy way to get around that. Great, so I'll catch you in the next video, cheers. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.